Biologists have been lip-tagging walleyes in the Missouri River and Lake Oahe for the past three years, four counting this spring, and are closing in on their target of 10,000 tagged fish. They're counting on anglers who harvest a tagged fish to call in the information on the tag to gather much needed data. One of the main uh, reasons we're doing the study is to gather more information on walleye mortality rates, and that's a really important, really important piece of information to have for properly managing this fishery. Bailey says angling mortality rates for the first three years of the study have been around 17 to 27 percent depending on what region of Lake Oahe or the Missouri River system was being sampled. When combined with natural mortality like old age or disease, those numbers reflect a healthy fishery. So those are all acceptably low rates of mortality that basically says anglers aren't having a negative impact on this fishery at the present time. Another residual bit of information the biologists have gathered during the study is that these tagged walleyes are not moving very far. About 55% of the fish that anglers have reported back to us moved 10 miles or less from the location that they were tagged. Bailey says this information basically dispels an old myth about a mass walleye migration in the spring. I think uh, a lot of anglers are under the impression that there's a walleye migration that occurs here every spring, uh, like a sort of a spawning run. Uh, the information we're gaining from this tagging study uh, suggests that really isn't the case. He says it has more to do with water temperatures than fish movement. So the warmest water temps in the spring being usually somewhere between McLean Bottoms, Hazleton, Fort Rice in that area, and it's no coincidence that's where we see the walleye fishing pick up first in the spring. Regardless of where you choose to fish the Missouri River system, you can rest assured the results of this four-year study show a strong and healthy fishery. This is Tom Jensen, Outdoors.